Welcome in and thanks for joining us for the WHHI Daily News, where we strive to bring you more low country news more often. I'm Bob Stevens. Busy voting time in Beaufort County the next couple of weeks. Early voting in the GOP presidential primary already underway. Runs through Friday the 23rd before primary day on the 24th. You can vote pretty much during business hours at the four county early voting centers on John Galt Road in Beaufort, at the Bluffton Rec Center on Ulmer Road, at the Hilton Head Government Center, and at the St. Helena Branch Library. But you cannot vote if you've already voted in the Democratic primary. You'll also be able to vote at your regular precinct on Saturday the 24th. Now, Bluffton's special town council election is Tuesday between Emily Burden and Emily Mayer. Some precincts have been moved. You might want to check the Beaufort County website to vote in the right place. The town of Port Royal and its controversial new developer are at least talking now, trying to come to agreements on what Safe Harbor Marina wants to do with the land along the town's waterfront. Mayor Kevin Kevin Phillips has told the Island Packet that he's learned that construction of the rental townhomes along the waterfront is not a foregone conclusion. A permit for Safe Harbor to build a new marina featuring nearly 200 dedicated wet slips is nearly complete. To be determined is the fate of 200 townhouses and 30 single-family homes still planned on land overlooking Battery Creek. The town and Safe Harbor also working on a land swap that would allow Safe Harbor to build a shrimp processing plant in exchange for the beer garden property that is near Sands Beach. Got a spare couple of million and want to move away from it all? The Murdoch family's old Moselle estate, 21 acres of it, on the auction block this week. Bids are being accepted online through Thursday for the four-bedroom, four-and-a-half bath, 5,000-square-foot main house and much of the property surrounding it in Islandton, South Carolina, through jpking.com. That's the website. The minimum bid, $1.1 million for the property that owners bought for $4 million back before Alec Murdoch's murder trial. He's just turned 21, but Naquan Gadsden of Hardyville running up quite a rap sheet. He was out on bond on a murder charge and has now been arrested for sexually molesting a girl under 16. That arrest coming as part of a larger drug bust on Furman Street in Hardyville. He now faces two drug charges, a warrant for second-degree criminal sexual assault with a minor, and still that murder charge for killing 19-year-old Daniel Gonzalez in Hilton Head's Northridge Plaza back in November of 22. Got those Valentine's Day flowers? Got that dinner reservation for the big day Wednesday? Mixbook, a photo book company, surveyed 3,000 couples around the country about the destination, best destinations to dine for your anniversary. Hilton Head Island finished third overall of 200 best places for dinner dates in the country. For what the website says is it's, quote, relaxed and elegant atmosphere combined with stunning natural beauty, making it a prime choice for sophisticated dining in a coastal setting, end quote. For what it's worth, North Beach, California and Coconut Grove, Florida, Finished one, two. For more details on these stories and other low country news, we invite you to visit the sources listed on your screen. We're going to talk sports a little later on. First, let's find out what the weather holds for us as we move through Valentine's Day and into the rest of the week. Thanks, Bob. Yep, so taking a look ahead, after a rainy start to our week, we should be having some nice weather throughout the rest of the week with plenty of sunshine and warmer temperatures. It's so taking a look at Tuesday. It's going to be breezy in the morning. Otherwise, it'll just be mostly sunny. Hillnets give a high 64, low 45. Bluffton's give a high 65, a low 43. And Buford's give a high 65 and a low 45. The sunrise for Tuesday is going to be at 7.07 and sunsets going to be at 6.07. Looking at the beach tides, high tides going to be 11.52 a.m. and low tides going to be at 7.01 p.m. Take a look into the rest of the week. Wednesday is going to be partly cloudy with highs in the 60s and lows in the 40s. And then come Thursday and Friday, it's going to be sunny to partly cloudy, again with highs in the 60s and lows in the 40s. That's it for today. Let's head it back to the desk. Thanks, Maria. When we come back, a report on a very special prom coming up. Yeah, prom season kicking off early this year. Stay with us for an interesting story.